Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Welcome to my scary, horrible portion of the stream if you don't know who I am. Well, read yourself a book. Because I am B.F. Bugleberry, the one and only I told you I would be back this Halloween. And I have gone over the feedback on my LinkedIn account. If you don't have LinkedIn, you've got to get on LinkedIn. I've seen all the feedback. I've seen what people have been saying, all my fans. And there are lots of you. Every single person says, Bill we love you. We love your stories. We love the funny things you do, the funny things you say, the interesting, horrible things. But for the love of goodness, We'd like to see something new from you, and I have that. Boys and girls, I've been invited back to do one of my other passions that's not just scary stories. It's something else entirely. Something devilish, something awful, something that you will give a throw up in your mouth when you see the dastardly thing that you're going to see today. We're going to do pottery. Pottery with Bugleberry. I will show you the techniques you do, and if you will get your materials out of class, I will show you how I make my urns. My horrible urns. Terrible things. Well, the first thing you need to do is you have all of your materials. You need clay. Balls of clay like this. You can get it at a local clay store. Make sure it is pottery clay. I use the best. We're going to slap that right in the center of our pottery room. Oh, so full of demonic energy. Oh, I can feel it. This has been blessed and then cursed and then blessed again and then cursed three more times. By me. I do that too if you need somebody to do that for you. If you need somebody to curse your clay, I can do it for you. Let's go ahead and get started. That's right, need to get a little bit more water on it, as you see. And the thing about clay molding is you need to feel yourself get into it. Don't just put your hands on the clay, that's not how it works. Get into the clay. Feel its centerness. We are making today an urn to keep up. That's what we'll be keeping in mind. Just even pressure down the middle. Not too much. You should end up on a nice flat top like that. I have a little bit of an issue on the side. You don't have to go full throttle. That's my father used to tell me. He said, Barry, you don't gotta go full throttle. And I'd say, fuck you, Dad. And then he left. I never saw him again. We are going to continue to put pressure down into the middle just enough to give us a nice urn shape. And it reminds me of a story. No, we don't need that today. We're just making urns. <laughs> but as I try to, oh, there's a little guy right there. What is this? What is this? What is that? What is this? What is that? What a spider. As I'm getting deeper down into this clay, just letting it do the work for me. Do not move during this procedure. You could get seriously injured. Can we get a nice zoom in on this? Can we get a zoom in on him? That's a big one. Let's 
Sorry. Just seemed appropriate. Like I said, once every two weeks, me and all of my friends, we get together, and we do this. And we do it to a point where all of us can present. And it's not about winning, that's the thing. It's not about winning. Oh, I didn't win. No, who cares if you won or not? It's about creating. And that's it. Storing whatever you want in here. It could be cigarettes. It could be cigars. No, well, whatever. If you have cigarettes, you can go in here. And remember, it's about constant pressure. It need, doesn't need to be perfect. Oh, beautiful memory. Uh, I, I, I tried to put together something, and it didn't turn out perfectly. That's fine. As long as the essence of death flows through you into the earth. The lid is very difficult, and you can't make the lid until this portion is completed. It's like eggs, weirdly enough, but it's something I enjoy. And don't tell me what I'm doing is wrong. Don't tell me you should not be creating these things. You shouldn't be making these things. Do you know what day it is today? It's Thursday. All of your parking tickets expire today. Pay them. Stop, 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 stop with it. Did you hear it? Did you hear it? Sounded like a spirit was flying through. If I could only catch it. Oh, if I could catch that spirit, he would be in a bad spot. So the lid. I have two pieces that I'll be making for you. One is the top and the other is the bottom. This is the bottom, which will allow you to... Hello. What's the matter? What are you... Hold on, he's, he's, he's bitten somebody? Did he actually bite somebody? Okay, he's, has he, he's eating raw hamburger meat backstage. Goddamn crawling things. I, look, he doesn't get out of the house very much. He doesn't get out very much. But chrome face is very, very, he's not harmful. He's, Is he all right? It's all right, it's okay. Is it a problem? Do you need to go get him? But I, 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 I want to, uh, is anybody injured? Not yet. Oh, God. My guess is strong. Okay, well, just, just put some hamburger meat on the ground. I'll go get it. Just put it in a trail over to a hundred. You know the traps that they make in Looney Tunes? When, you know, the, the stick and it falls down, I'll get it. Ladies and gentlemen, I, let me, ladies and gentlemen, I have to be cut short because chrome face is, a little, little, a little difficult. Of course, he hasn't been out in about 15 years, son of a bitch. Hey, I will be back. You don't think you'll never see me again. You'll see me again. God, stupid. I should have brought out a whole bracket.